Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Zuho users, do you need to synchronize your Gmail account with Zuho? We've got you covered. In this 2024 tutorial, we will guide you throughout the process of connecting Gmail to Zuho, whether you are using Zuho Mail or business communication or for personal organization. We will show you how to integrate it seamlessly. So let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, for this specific video, we have two requirements of course. The first one is to own a Gmail account or Gmail email. It's pretty easy to make one. You simply by going to your Google Chrome or by going to Google and accessing their websites, you will have to log in and by logging in, uh, you will either choose to log in if you already have an account. If not, you simply have to create an account. Also, you will need a Zuho account. As you can see here, Zuho is not simply an account. It's basically uh, a website and it is an application so make sure that you own an account within Zuho now to connect it the simple way guys like from the beginning I'm going straight forward for the tutorial to connect it and to make them all together to synchronize together you could the moment you are trying to create your account do not go to sign up now but instead go and click on sign in using your Google Chrome account which is your Gmail account so with that being done you simply have to go and uh, me later there we go you simply going to do that and here it is your account has been created using your gmail account and now you can simply access the whole emails the whole things just simply from your gmail but now i know most of you guys has already the work the work running the business running their account running and they already have created their accounts uh, before so you are here to actually know how to make it happen after you created your account the normal way well it's pretty simple guys now gmail is what it's simple an email so the first thing that you have to go is your email settings so what i highly recommend you guys is to go to your account and try to go for settings or simply go for the integrations or the apps so here as you can see this is my account here it is my email address and basically now what i want from here is to go to settings and in settings here you will have these preferences and authorized websites so here you can manage an authorized websites here i have already my gmail account and here you will have as i said the authorized website so depending on the tutorial here as you can see you have to go to settings and then integration so in case you couldn't find the integration page you have to simply go for the another tab zuho integration and you will have the integration app uh, interface right uh, in front of you so here as you can see you will have this uh, zuho and here you have the integrations and simply now what you need to do is to go all the way down and search for the google workspace or gmail simply whatever you want so here as you can see this is google suit gmail so we have to search for g uh, g suits so let's go all the way down and search for it so view all extensions and now we simply have to go for the marketplace in the marketplace then here it's pretty simple so we could simply click on view more and keep searching for the google uh for the google app or simply go for g suit and as you can see g suit for beginning integrate your g suit data with begin so here it is the same thing so note when you integrate with gmail the following details will be shared with them so here as you can see literally here you'll find everything you would need so you will be sharing organization name email address username address and country so these are the necessary things that are going to be shared so what i'm going to do is to simply do the same thing so let's search for the g suit or gmail depending on what you want so for us for example here i'm going to search for gmail and gmail for zuho meeting depending you know you need, you need to get what are the purpose of your connection so there is a lot of apps a lot of integrations here that's gonna help you to do what you're gonna do with gmail but <coughs> depending exactly on the purpose of users for example here there is this gmail for zuho so you are going to connect your gmail account with zuho but for a specific reason which is email so you can convert email conversations to real-time collaborative sessions with the zuho meeting add-on for gmail there is other app which is basically right here it is gmail for zuho recruit which is productivity requirements so you can recruitment for example so you can recruit people add new people there is here the google app synchronization so you can make professional email online storage shared calendars video meetings 
things and more and there is here google apps for zero projects so you can merge all the applications that are crucial for your business by integrating zero projects with google apps and you have here zapier for zero connect so yeah you have a lot of things to do so first thing is what is the purpose of the synchronization now here we have three reasons so I actually have them the first reason is basically in case we would like to have meeting the second reason is basically to have rec uh, to recruit people and the third meet the third reason is basically for all of that so uh, but even more so we have here for example for the email etc online stories and video meetings so this is exactly what we are going for since we only need we, we have here everything but if you were looking for something more specific then you could go for the other apps that we have seen now here we have the key features of this element or this app which is basically set reminders and calls to action for Google calendars events right inside Zuho CRM synchronize Google calendar events and task and view them in Zuho CRM synchronize Google contacts as leads inside Zuho CRM schedule periodic data synchronize and update data from Google Apps to Zuho CRM the Google Apps extension gives the sales professional access to the world most popular contacts management and calendar system with that inside Zuho CRM with the add on users can synchronize their Google contacts and events into Zuho CRM from both their organization as well as their personal Google account so this is basically the main reason why you want to use this so now you simply have to click on install go to Zuho pricing page and from there you could literally install whichever extension you would like to have so we simply have to wait and as you can see this is not for free you could have the premium plan here I would like to simply have the add-on for zero dollar selects uh, as you can see this is the simple way to, to get it but as you can see here it is zero but as long as I would like to add an add-on for one unit it's gonna be up to one dollar so I can't really go for free the for free the, uh, the for free plan will not actually give you uh, the actual add-on so to have the add-on you simply have to go for one of these so either 14 23 40 52 57 depending on the actual price that you want to go for or basically what are the users that you want to do with it so here for example we have the sign that is basically 14 dollars per user per and per month but annually for 20 dollars per month to month here professional per user per month here 40 dollars per user per month so uh here there's a lot of things if you want to one time data backup here you can choose even more units for example you would like to go for the free with uh, 120 uh, with 10 units then we have to go here and simply here in this page we simply have to put our informations from the billing details that's gonna be our billing address and then finally here the credit card or PayPal depending on which way we would like to pay our uh, our basically subtotal or total amount that we need to pay after that we simply have to click to click on make payments and we are going to proceed to the confirmation process where simply we are going to get the message that in case it was the payment was made successfully that's congratulation your account has your add-on has been bought successfully in case there was any problem they're gonna announce it to you in that space as well so yeah guys this is how you can connect to ho to your gmail or all the way around depending on what specific reason you would like so thank you guys and see you guys in the next tutorial